Howdy guys, figured I'd share with you the kit that I installed. I'm fairly happy with it, so here you go. You know, it's just one of those, I like to tinker with my truck kind of videos. So this is the kit. It's an air compressor, a little reservoir, and a extreme, extreme air compressor. Um, I can tell the motor is pretty heavy, pretty hefty, but here's the kit number. Um, I'll leave the best for last. I don't want to get under the truck a whole lot or I ain't too excited about it But I wanted to show you what all I did. So My guy's gonna be tinting more windshields in this vehicle as you could tell we need to detail this um, But as you could tell that's Fine touches haven't been applied, but it's just literally sitting in there what I did, this was just a good old panel, popped it out. I almost want to show you here, let me grab my knife. Hang tight guys, hang tight. You know, if someone's watching this video, they're not watching it for entertainment, entertainment, they're probably watching it because they want to do the same darn thing. Paul, you special order this truck for yourself. Why didn't you just get it from the factory with their guys? I keep repeating myself it ain't it's a good system it's it, it works it functions but not for long so to make a long story short you see all my artwork back here as i said fine touches haven't been applied but uh what i'm gonna try to do is dremel out this little piece a little more so my gauge could sit the other way meaning a little, it's cockeyed you see how it's being pushed pushed down a little bit so I want it to have a gap on the bottom because this is already facing down. So a little bit could help us quite a bit actually. And by doing that, you know, I push it in and apply the final touches. So this needs to be gouged out a little more. I could have more, did a little bit more center. So the gauge is uh, going into this area, but I'm like, hey, if I'm gonna be cutting, I might as well cut where there's more meat and just do one side instead of both sides. So what I had to do guys, I wanted a single. I don't want my airbags divided. So inflate, deflate. Here, I'll show you. I ran a line from the airbags, and I ran a line from the tank. Sing single, right? The, the tank and the airbags are divided by the switch. So these things run down. Well, let's see how well I can show you guys. But just hang on. Hang tight with me. Boys dropped off a load and bounced. Oh guys, most likely I'm going to use this uh, trailer here in a couple days. It's going to be a pretty cool video. I picked up a project I'm excited about. So I went in and I got me auxiliary switches, right? I don't know if I showed you guys. But this is one. This is uh, button one. And it's, it's battery. I'm going to change it to ignition in the settings. And you do it in the center. You know, the speedometer settings there. Um, so I can only it can only run while the ignition's on. Right now it's for the battery. So anyways. That's just one wire, that's the hot wire, and then you just ground out the negative to the frame. So all those run back, right? You saw the electricity run across, and then the air runs down. I don't know how well I'll be able to show you. Shoot, I really can't. Oh, yeah. So the only thing that sticks out is that red hose there. See how it comes out? My boys drill the hole in there. I got a new phone. It's a Samsung. Hopefully she serves me better. Um, to answer all your questions as far as what camera I use my phone, guys. I don't have time to, to do a camera. I'm thinking about hiring someone. So you'll know once I hire someone. The videos are going to be more professional. And they're going to be a lot more consistent. I could do videos for days as long as I could have someone to edit them. Meanwhile, my videos are done on my phone. I get a minute. I get on there, you know, right in the description. Throw it on the interweb and off I go with my daily chores. So that's a little side note. So you saw where those hoses run. This is more or less a rough draft. Obviously, they're going to get changed. Not everything's going to get changed about it. Uh, but you see, that's where the red hose goes. I run it all the way back. And this is what I did. I wanted to have me... Great, I parked right by a puddle. I wanted to have me a quick connect. Right here. Quick connect. I'm about to uh, dust her off with some... I know WD-40 isn't the greatest stuff out there, but I'm about to dust her off with some WD-40 and put a cap-looking thing on it, and then this nipple. 
So what I did is I ran a hose to the airbags alone. So the airbags fall along. Airbags have a, think of a, there's, well, there's, one, there's one air hose connecting those two airbags. And then you have a T that's running back here to the bumper. And then you have another T that I showed you that red hose from the switch is coming to that side. See what I'm saying? It's not to that airbag, it's just that side of the thing. This is the quick connect or the quick air up if my airbag uh, compressor, call it whatever you want to call it, to fail. Now I had to do something super quick. Uh, I mean, it's just, this is how it is, man. So I got this thing in here. That yellowish stuff is uh, am M's oil's penetrant and it's supposedly good stuff, but I got it in here on a bracket. You could tell there's a little bracket those fabbed up. I'm gonna pull it off whenever I get to it and move it all the way up. That's roughly an inch and a half room there. So I can move this an inch and a half. And then down here, neighboring, is I threw this tank on here. Yes, yeah, so I just take over it real quick on here and down, not even me, my boys did. They did a good job. Besides, they need to re-weld uh, the plug here. There's, oh, no, no, they, they don't need to re-weld. They need to fill a hole. There's a little hole there. I added me a drain. You guys in the big rigs know that's very important to have a drain in here. Uh, I want to be able to shoot some uh, air compressor oil, antifree or antifreeze stuff. I call it antifreeze, but it's antifreeze airing, freezing things. So if, there, if I ever have an issue, I don't have to go wrenching on the lines or anything. I'll just open this up, squirt some oil in there, close it down, or that antifreeze for the winter, if I have that issue. So what happens here, this is the air that I was talking about. So this is the quick connect. Obviously this isn't gonna roll. The guy was in a hurry and let it drop it like that, but that ain't gonna work, it'll wear out real quick. So what I did for, for the air compressor, keep in mind, this is the main line that goes to the switch. It goes across through the tube, through this cross member, It'll get toasty, shouldn't get too toasty though. Well, I'll let you know how that hangs up. And then it goes up over there to the switch. I know it's confusing. You guys are gonna have to replay and go back and forth, but that the short, that's the short gist of it. These two airbags got a single line running between them, a T going back so I can access them real quick. And then a T running forward to the controller. So once air is applied through that controller, that it gets from this line, it will apply it there, or I can apply it here. So as long as that switch doesn't go kaboom on me, the airbags are isolated from the tank and the air compressor. Right now, what I'm doing, I'm turning on the air, air compressor, getting some air in that air tank, and just adjust, adjusting my pressure. I gotta get me a, a cap for that. Anyways, boys, that's how my, uh, my system's installed. Call it whatever you want, it works. I'm super happy, I still love this truck. I've had, keep in mind guys, I'm not new to this whole buying new truck and you know, this whole, uh, should I say excitement thing? I'll make a separate video on that. There's something about this truck. I absolutely love it. I think it's the fact there's this balance of uh, family comfort. I don't know if y'all could tell there's so much junk back here. Um, my family fits in here. We're comfortable. We travel and, uh, I could do my business. You know, I could provide for my family Oh, on a, on a side note. I'm gonna show you the rest of the kit. So the, the gauge, so this gauge and this switch sat in this thing, okay? There's just, you know, gauge, switch, and this on the back side was, was sandwiched. So after I drum all this out, and if I needed to, I could build me a little U-shaped bracket. I'll call it a U-bolt with holes in it. So a little, uh, a bridge like this. Um, if I get too lazy, I just might come out and cut this off and slide this on the back by applying pressure back here, the gauge will stay in. I don't think I'll have that issue once I dremel this out and I'll have it positioned because this sits in here really tight. Um, I'm not quite sure if I'll apply uh, power to the light. I don't think it's a necessity. Uh, as long as you don't have air leak in there, I mean, you adjust it, you're done. Uh, what I am gonna do, yeah, is throw a light tint on it. It just stands out so bad. So my tinting guy, when he was doing my side windows and it just, it looks good. It's just a mild smoke tint. It looks good. So I'll ask him to apply that or I don't know, some light tint on here. So I just have the bezel sticking out, the bezel sticking out, not the whole white there. We'll see. It'll be a quick little hookup if I want the this thing lit up. 
meanwhile I don't so this is where all this came from obviously you see all that artwork on the back what I did is I popped this thing out face forward plopped this on the back adjusted it accordingly as far as I saw the room here for the cross members and I tried to clear them as much as possible like I applied as I did decided to go for the bottom so you know shifted it down outlined it with some marker and obviously there's so much paint it dripped here so I got to clean this up I got to detail my truck that's what I'm going to do after this video but you know it's a working truck I love this truck anyways I'm gonna put this knife away so nobody gets hurt around here there's no other knife besides my old leatherman same exact leatherman that's cut myself with man that was bad thing just keeps cutting you anyways boys i'm gonna show you the kit that you get the, for the quick connect this whole kit besides uh mounting the the switch and the gauge everything i've done to this truck was there i mean obviously they didn't weld it for me they didn't build a bracket for my frame it's just a t-looking bracket um but let me see if i can get this pouch out of here hang tight I'll reach back there all right so and another thing, guys, I paid for every single thing. Firestone isn't sponsoring me for nothing. But here's what you get. I like Firestone's airbags. Keep in mind, I'm running Firestone airbags. And it just happened their kit worked the best for me for what I wanted. So this is a quick connect. I'll come in there, you know, connect it. And that's the male end to it. I don't know what they're thinking. No. Oh, they're thinking right. I'm thinking wrong. The mail end's going to go into the quick connect on the back of my truck. And then this quick disconnect connect deal is going to go on here. So they give you a decent hose. I mean, this feels like real hose. This looks on the cheap side, but what am I going to say? I'll let you guys know once I use it. And it does like this whole... Everything but the hose feels cheap about it. Um, once again, if it hangs in there and it does the job, what am I complaining about? All right, boys, this is it. This is it, and that's all there is to it. As always, may the Lord bless you, and may the Almighty find day. Ciao.